Good morning. My name is Tarmo and my geocaching name is Metroboy. Yesterday I was doing a little bit geocaching together in the SpongeBob series and I was meeting up early in the morning with Chef. We went to Nicolas and we picked up Julie and we did another part of geocaches from the SpongeBob series. So first we did around 60 or 70 geocaches and uh, we managed to find almost all of them. Just two caches we couldn't get. I still have one more uh, stretch of uh, trail left to do, which starts from Ongar, but that one I need to do alone. I got exactly one month time to do it. So, Jeff, we are looking for a brick here. Yeah? So, I think I found it. So, let's see, am I correct or not? Oh, dear. Yay! <laughs> well done. Two. Two. So, two cashes per one price. Two for one. Two for one. I think I've got snails in it. <laughs> Oh, the blader. <laughs> it has clearly been found, well done, too, but man. not logged online yet because there are other names on here that weren't on here before, weren't yeah. online. So this cache was hidden on, 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 underneath this brick, and there's second cache here as well. <laughs> So we'll leave it back where it belongs. Quite tricky to be honest, is it? What was it? 18, yeah, it's it's long here. Yeah, 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 yeah. sure. Long here and slightly yeah. to the left. Yeah. So yeah. hello Julie. So Hiya. you <laughs> you were coming different way than us, so <laughs> Yeah, chickened out, I've got little legs, couldn't go over the ditch. Okay. So went around the original route that you suggested. Yeah. And we should have listened to you. Would like to ask, how long have you done geocaching altogether? Uh, nine, nine years. Nine years. Okay. Yeah. And your geocaching name PTL twenty twenty. Ten ten sorry. ninety two. <laughs> ten ninety two. Which is my wedding anniversary. Okay. Okay. I do remember you told me about a couple of times this. Yeah. <laughs> the initials are my daughter's initials, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and the uh, numbers are my wedding anniversary. And how many cash finds you got so far? Uh, approaching, may even have hit it, um, 3,000. Wow, that's a nice one. Well over, of course, this time, then let's say that makes roughly 500 caches per year or something right. like that, which is very good. <laughs> There we go. This is maybe small size, regular. Hmm. Yeah, Hello. well, could be. It could be. It's a good one. Yeah. There's a little teddy bear. Oh, that's a dog toy, usually. <laughs> Some I don't know. nerf thing. Yeah. A little bracelet. Can opener. So it's good quality <laughs> swag. It's pretty good. Yeah. Last week we had CC3. This week we got. CC4. So, so one for each member. Chef, Tarmo, Nicola and Julie. So two J's, N and T. <laughs> there we go. All done. All done. Looks like we found some YouTubers uh, on the road who were filming us. So I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna film them when they're gonna pass by. <laughs> Obviously they have more professional gear than I got. <laughs> But on that subject, as if it's okay, can you tell a couple things about you? You know, what's your guessing name? Oh, uh, well, oh, two J's two. Two J's two. And you are one of the cash owners in Southend. Um, oh, I'm the Southend Cashier. Southend Cashier, yes. I, I like his guesses. His guesses are beginner friendly. And I started actually my geocaching in South Church Park that actually ah, belonged to you. That's correct. <laughs> yes, park, park Life series. 
and it's all been archived and now Termo's got it all. Also got the Temple Run series. Tem Temple Run. And, and the Humpty Dumpty. That's got loads of favourites. Yes. I tried to get the first to find, I remember. And I was there half an hour and I needed to take the train. And then when I came back first to find was gone. Also, my eyes down is, is very tricky as well. Uh, bingo all. So anyway, Jeff, thanks for today coming on this trail and I think I'm gonna cover some of your cases in one video in the future. Right. I still got four to find. I yeah. kept them for special occasions. The ones on the football field near the fire station. Oh. Yo, it moves. What is moving? The stone when you lent on it. No. I'm heavy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm it's, coming away. No, okay. I didn't expect it to move. That was all. <laughs> so we eventually found it. It was not on the other side on that big slab of stone and that was misleading. So actually it was this 35 millimeter post. But what? 35 millimeter pot behind this post. So this is where it goes back. Um, so when we were today on this trail, we found this field here and we tried to figure out what it's for. So it took a while to figure out and Nicholas got all the answers. So what we have here. <laughs> so this apparently is wild barley, according to uh, the results of my Google search. Yeah. So I guess you can use it to make bread or you could put it into beer, I think. And it was quite challenging. I yeah. saw you were struggling to it find... It did not come up as quickly as the last time. When a uh, previous caching trip, we found some broad beans, fields and fields <laughs> full of them, and I didn't recognise them. But Google Lens got the answer straight away. Ah, it's a oh, snail. Snails. Yeah, bye bye snails. There we go. Oh. I hope to do more of these videos and if you like my content please subscribe.